Hello friends, welcome to the next lecture on React.js. The previous lecture we have seen how to create a HTML components using React.js. And the previous lecture we have seen under root main root tag, under root tag we have main tag, under main tag we have sub tags. And we will be using this is like React.create element. This is too complex. It is not good way of writing the code. And we have JSX preprocessor. Using JSX, we can write more better way. Let me create on JS Fiddle now. From scratch, I will show you how to create JS Fiddle. Select the first link. And here, don't select anything. And go to resources. Here, look for React. Select the React. Add it. And one more thing we are going to select react and react dom i have selected add react dom and copy this html code from here copy the html code take out take out this code and put here and just execute it just for sake whether it will, it's working of this i am going to change the language table this is the javascript preprocessor okay let me run and execute it it's printing Just observe here it is printing everything now what i am going to do is i am going to use jsx preprocessor of this one. here we will return div as we have div under this div we will add two h1 and h1 and h2 like this h1 and h2 okay hello world here today time let's print run it see whether it is working or not not working what we will do we should we don't have to call this function like this now jsx preprocessor we have to use this notation component notation and execute this one return div h1 h2 something is fine Create element, RETURN, everything is perfect. Oh, oh, here one extra base is there. Yes, it's working fine. We did a mistake, we have added extra base because of that, it didn't work. Here we have written on main div, under that we have h1, h2, and that we are printing under create element. This is a tag. This is JSX preprocessor. This is just like a HTML code. This is simple compared to this code. Okay. Next, what we will do? We need to print the today's time. How we will print? We need to use braces, date, and run it. It's printing the today's date and it is 
working fine. Next, what we will do? We need to how to add the change the color. Hello world color. I wanted to change. For this, I will create one color CSS class. Want to put some pink color? I have created a class name. Here color. Equal to pink. And we need to get this value. How we will call? In normal HTML, we'll put like a class equal to pink color. And this won't work properly here. We need to specify class name. Sometimes it may not work. So we need to specify class name. It's not good practice to use class because it is a special meaning. So instead of class, use class name and get the pink color. This way we have to write class name, CSS class using class name. Your class, it is a JavaScript value. We don't want it. We need to use class name. Using this, we are printing the color as well. Okay. Compared to this code, this is simple now. Thank you.